Welcome back guys. So today I've got a case from Ella Duino that we're going to take a look at. So these guys know I'm a fan of their products and they asked me if I could post a review of this case. And while I was not super excited to do so, I figured there probably will be a market for this one. But Ella Duino, they do sell a lot of different cases and this is one of their most basic ones they have. And those of us who are deep into this hobby, you know, we're always looking for cases that have added cool features and new stuff going on. And this one, while it does look really nice, don't get me wrong, this is a quality case. There are no special features. We don't have a power on and off button, no fan mount, but there is another version of this case, the same exact case with a fan mount and it comes with a fan. This one does not, no big deal. Some people might not wanna pay the extra for the fan, but we will go ahead and take a look at installing this case with our Raspberry Pi. Like I said, their, their products are quality and it does come with a screwdriver, so I didn't need my extra screwdriver, so that's nice. Little instruction manual showing you the finished product illustrated, what, metal case. And then we do have a literal ton of screws. If I'm going to give this, I'm just basing my views on this and I'm going to be very honest. Yes, this is a sponsored video. This case is a very basic case. And for that reason, for a basic case to have so many parts, some people might lose patience. Me, I lose my patience very easily with some things and I just start throwing stuff around. This case, eh, it's, it's not complicated. It's not complicated. You do have 12 screws, but it's nothing crazy. It's only going to take you a few minutes to install everything and get it going. So here you do want to take that top piece off and then get your pie lined up with the bottom piece to where the cutout for the micro SD card is. And it is not recessed and it's not press fitted. So you will have to kind of hold your pie in place and line it up to get the screw, the screws lined up with the screw posts perfectly not a big deal but a lot of cases do have you know where it's press fit or it's recessed or something but a lot of them don't as well no big deal i'm only gonna put two screws to mount my pie because i am not going to keep it in this case this pie is actually for another project but it was easily accessible to me at the moment so i figured i'll just use this one so that's the reason why i'm only using two but if you're gonna use this case, go ahead and mount it fully. But if you only use two like I did, it shouldn't be an issue. She ain't going nowhere. So then you go ahead and pop the top piece on and it clicks into place. And then you will line up one end. This is the micro SD card side. Line that up and then go ahead and screw the four screws in. I will go ahead and fast forward through the screwing process because it's not very interesting. Nothing amazing happens while I am screwing this case together. So there we go. This is a full metal case, so I understand, you know, in their typical design, they do have, you know, a lot of their cases like this where you have to screw in the end pieces. And it does kind of look snazzy, you know, but some people, you know, they want to they want some frustration free pie case action. And like I said, this one's not really a frustrating case, but some people just want to pop their pie in there and close it up and be good to go. This one, you're just going to have to put in a couple minutes work. Come on, man. It ain't that big a deal. And it, it does come with this top piece that you have to install yourself to make it look, you know, 100% beautiful, I guess. And, you know, maybe I have something wrong with my eyesight, but I have a hard time lining stuff up, I guess. But here, you know, you can go ahead and remove it a couple times, turn it around, adjust it, get that thing in place. But I do kind of wish if they're shipping this out that something that is just for aesthetics was already installed. Like, why do I have to, like, you know, you guys saved, what, like two cents paying somebody to put that sticker on there but that's okay no big deal go ahead and line that up and then there's a clear plastic film on the top that you will peel off 
and there you go. And then nice and shiny. I mean, it does look nice. It does come with the couple heat sinks that I'm not using because I already had them on this pie. But a couple aluminum heat sinks. And then you do have these two bottom pieces that you will just line up at each end. Instead of having like multiple feet, you just have these two slivers that you put on there. And it does the job. So that is nice. And there we go. I, I really do think, you, you know, I'm not trying to be like overly critical. This is a basic case. There's nothing really to talk about with it. Other than it does look really nice. It feels very sturdy and it is it is a quality case. Don't get me wrong, but you are not getting any added features of a fan mount or power on and off buttons, nothing like that. This case is gonna be around 12 bucks. For a few dollars more, you can get the same case with the the fan and fan mount, so that is pretty nice. But here, my 256 gigabyte micro SD card, we got a project on that coming up pretty soon. Checking it out, ultimate test, does she slide in and out easily? Is it an easy insert and retrieval of the micro SD card? And yes, yes it is. This case, I give that like an extra like 20 points because a lot of cases are just stupid and you cannot easily do that. And this case is perfectly fine. But you see, everything is easily accessible. You have holes for the lights, GPIO on the side. Everything looking good. So if you're in the market for a basic case and you want a sturdy metal case that does look very nice, this might be the option for you. I like it. It's not a case I would have bought myself or used, but hey, it is what it is. Take a look if you want to check her out. Link is in the description. And with that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Boom!